Welcome to my bookshelves. Today we are doing some reorganization on my bookshelves. This will also be a reading vlog, but I need to get my shelves together. Right now there's random books scattered at the tops. They're kind of just shoved in there because I was going through books that I was like deciding if I wanted to bring to school or not with me and there were a lot that I had to put back and a lot just got shoved away and not organized properly. I never really do actual book content um even though i love reading so i kind of want to talk about my reading style what type of books i like and what i'm reading currently i'm currently reading the inheritance games which is very highly rated and i finally decided that it was a book that i was actually going to read i'm currently like 200 pages into it or something little over that so far it's pretty good i'm waiting for it to pick up even more than how, where it is right now but hopefully I'll get around to reading the next two books in the trilogy. But I'm starting to branch out with what I read. I've read a lot of queer romance books or just queer books in general. I'm starting to branch out into young adult like series. I want to read Once Upon a Broken Heart. I heard about it from Haley Pham. She just raved about it so much that I was going to get it but then I went to Barnes and Nobles and they didn't have it and so I picked up this instead. I'm also interested in reading the Cruel Prince trilogy and some of the other like books along that line and in those type of genres which is pretty different for me but I'm having fun with just exploring reading wise. How I organize my books is I organize them alphabetically except for the top are all queer books and then the bottom is the rest. <laughs> So a couple of these are mixed in. One trilogy that I really want to read and I've been wanting to read for a while, I started reading it but never finished it, was Howl's Moving Castle. I, and I loved reading it too. I just, maybe that's like what I'll read next. We'll see. I've got a pile on the ground here that is stacking up. This is the rest of my shelves. Here you can see more of the rainbow. Here I have some art books. I'm also an art person. I've got a Frida and a Gauguin, Gauguin book. Okay, so I got those books down. I have a bunch of random knickknacks all around on my bookshelf. This is not for this goes. No. This either goes in like, I guess it's like a dark blue technically. I have check please. I really want there to be a third one. I have a little comic book section, but I don't really know where that is. Oh, it's over here. I need to put all my heart stoppers there because they got moved. I need to figure out also the knickknacks that are going on my shelf because I have too many. Like I think things just got thrown on there that aren't supposed to be there. Does not go here. This goes with the gaze. This book was really cute. This is just a fun little read, I recommend. And especially if you're into K-pop or K-dramas, the main character is like a K-drama actress and she's queer. A sapphic love story as well as a cool like look into the K-drama world kind of. I Kiss Cheryl Wheeler, of course, a classic, especially if you're looking for sapphic romance books. And it's YA, which I did really enjoy. This one I never got to finish reading, but I started it and I was excited about it because I did go to Catholic school. Oh, uh, we need to do a shift. There's too many books. I hate when I have to do a shift because then I have to move all of my books and all of my crap. My Pantone box is going to have to leave.
think this is the brightest yellow I have there. My shelves are getting full, at least for the queer books. The rest will be fine. I'm just gonna put this one on top for right now. Just kidding, I found more books. We're forming a new stack of books, queer books that need to be shelved. I'm thinking about like actually just leaving some books up on the top for now because I have a stack of books that need to fit on this top shelf that are not gonna fit. It's either that or I completely reorganize this whole shelf. It might be time that we shift over the straight books. Well, right now this is like the straight books. Over here we have comics and nonfiction, and then underneath that we have poetry and on this side underneath this we have classics. I just found Bloom. If you're a fan of Heartstopper, you'll love this. These are my Virginia Woolf books. And I found these two really pretty copies at some vintage bookstore. And so I got a replacement copy for this one. So I might just get rid of this one because there's no point in having two. But I like how these match as well. I'm considering doing the entire thing rainbow. And that way it's not queer and straight. It's like every book together because I feel like when I have them separated I don't really appreciate my straight books sorry straight books I also just need to go through my straight my straight books because I don't think I want to keep all of them or maybe if I'll mix them all together I'll appreciate them more again but it's going to be a lot more work if I mix them all together. I need more room for the queer books either way. So maybe if I combine them, that'll be better. Let's clear out nonfiction and we'll have more room. be asking why I have rocks on my shelf. That's a great question. I think it was because I was going to paint them, but that clearly never happened. Also, there are some classics mixed in, but the classics that are mixed in are just classics that I actually like, and the, all of the other classics are basically just books that I had to read for school, and that's why they're stored separately. I need to shift my books again. The comic books are being moved over here. I really shouldn't say comic books. I know they're graphic novels. There are so many blue books. It's looking more organized, but the shelves are a mess now.
I still got more books to go. Here are my shelves at the moment. We still have this pile of nonfiction that we need to deal with. But for now, this is what we've got. I think they look so pretty right now. We're gonna have to figure out what we're doing with nonfiction. I might just get rid of all the books that I don't like from school. And oh, I just remembered I have all my journals at the bottom. So that's taking up space so I can always just move that out of the way and find a new spot for my journals. But yeah, I'm really not in the mood to do that right now. So that's it for this portion of the video. It's time to get back to reading. I've got some leftover chai. And I'm on chapter 52. This is getting a little crazy. I am currently on my way to Barnes and Nobles because I just finished the first book in the Inheritance Games trilogy and the ending was so good. For a lot of the book, it was kind of a slow burn for me and I was kind of leading up to the rest of the book. And so I wasn't completely sure about it, but I loved the ending. I think that was the best part for me. And so it's got me excited to read the next one. So I'm going straight to Barnes and Nobles to get it. So I'm on my way right now. And I think I'm also going to look for Once Upon a Broken Heart. Um, they didn't have it last time I was there. Um, so I honestly don't think that I'll get it. I doubt that they'll have it, but I'm hoping that they do because they have been having a buy one, get one free. And so I'm hoping that I could get that book um, when I get the Inherent, I'm literally driving the wrong way. Well, that's really cute. Anyway, that's what I'm up to. I will see you guys at Barnes & Noble. I had a somewhat successful trip to Barnes & Noble. I got the second book in the Hawthorne series, or the Inheritance Games trilogy and then I also got the first book in the Cruel Prince trilogy. I'm gonna try it out. I'm not sure if I will like it. I'm not a huge fantasy person but I'm kind of getting into trilogies and like series a little bit so I want to try it out. It's got great reviews and I think the reason why I was looking at it was because of Haley Pham. I've been watching her reading videos so I'm going to try it out. Here's what we've got. 
I'm gonna eat lunch first, but then I think I'm gonna start reading this book. Good morning. I am back in Baltimore now. I am at college. I finished my coffee this morning while reading The Hawthorne Legacy. It is so good so far. I'm a little over halfway right now. I'm on chapter 57 and I'm loving this book so far. This is so far my favorite out of the two. I'm kind of wondering how the third one will compare because I think this one will be my favorite. I haven't been filming um, a lot of me reading this book, but I've been busy lately, but I've just been reading this on and off. These books are so good though. I love them. I highly recommend the trilogy. I would say I would give the first one like a 4.5 and then I think this one will be a five star read. So I'm just gonna keep reading. second book of the inheritance games the hawthorne legacy this was my favorite so far and i think it's going to be my favorite of the three it was interesting because when i went on to goodreads to check out the reviews they were a bit more negative than the first one i found that a lot of people really liked the first one but the reviews were i guess by the people that i follow on goodreads were more negative for this one which i was like a little surprised by because i loved it so much and so i don't know but now i'm reading the third one on my kindle because the third one isn't out on paperback and i want all my copies to be in paperback instead of having one that's hardcover this is my kindle just fingerprints I've got this cat sticker on it but i'm like 20 percent way through i think yeah i'm 21 percent way through i'm on chapter 19 so i'm just gonna continue working my way through this book and i'll definitely finish it it's so far not as good as the other two but i think it's just because i really like the second book so comparatively it seems worse but i don't think it's like significantly worse but then after I finish those three, so after I finish the third one, I'm probably going to start the Cruel Prince trilogy, which I'm really excited about. I'm starting to get into trilogies, which I just feel like three is the perfect number for a series. Once it's four books, then I get bored. Like after three books, I get bored of what's happening. But three is just the perfect number for me. So that's my update. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like reading content and I'll keep it up. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm, I can't make promises. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you.